Next, we would like to welcome Andrew Clifford, president of Nexa of Bitcoin Unlimited. Hi, hi, hi. Good evening, blockchain futurists. I've just got 10 minutes to tell you about Nexa, but first, some context. 3,000 kilometers northwest of here is the Burgess Shale, which is a remarkable formation, evidence of a period of vigorous Darwinian natural selection. Fossils of soft-bodied organisms are preserved in the Burgess Shale. These show all kinds of crazy body plans and features worthy of science fiction, any adaptation which could evolve and give an animal some advantage developed and competed. So why not try five eyes, spikes on the back, horns the length of the body. It was a period of Darwinian natural selection on steroids. So we're witnessing another period of Darwinian natural selection on steroids, and it's the world of cryptocurrencies. So any crazy feature which researchers and developers can imagine gets realized into software and thrust into the wild to compete for users' adoption and value. So success is measured in market capitalization. Ignore the price. Market cap is what's important. The bigger the market cap, the more successful is the cryptocurrency. And it's not trivial. The total market cap of crypto is in the trillions of dollars, and it's likely to overtake gold in the next decade. So Satoshi Nakamoto launched Bitcoin 16 and a half years ago. During that time, there's been an incredible investment and money and developer resources into many different features which are deployed in new cryptocurrencies. But frankly, development in Bitcoin is focused on hardening its security and tangential refinements. If Bitcoin was launched today with its 10-minute blocks without tokens and DeFi support, then it would languish. No one would even look at it. So users don't care what's under the hood. They want a product to work, and that applies to cryptocurrency. Users are after a good experience. The more rewarding their UX, the more users will stay and encourage adoption and investment. This increases the market cap of a cryptocurrency and therefore increases its domination in the global borderless marketplace. So be your own bank, reliable, secure, capped, Free or nearly free, no bottlenecks, privacy, fast, functional, flexible, everyone using it. This is what users want and expect. To give users what they want, the designers, technical authors, and developers of a cryptocurrency must be ambitious in their approach, building out advanced technical features. 21st century finance is far more sophisticated than it was 50 years ago when money was simple. The requirements are demanding, even today after 16 years, and 10,000 exchange-traded cryptos, none of them have all the attributes which users require. So that's the context, so why Nexa? That's what I'm here up here for. Nexa is a UTXO architecture coin based on the original Satoshi design for Bitcoin with a four-year mining reward halving cycle. It was fairly launched by the Bitcoin Unlimited team who are now in their 10th year of cryptocurrency development, and that's where the similarities end. The Nexa code base is rigorously updated for parallel processing and optimization. The main currency unit is called Nex, with two decimal places, which is more familiar to the global public for money. The proof of work currently involves a partial Schnorr signature generation with a hard fork planned in Q1 2026 for full blinded signature generation which makes the block withholding attacks infeasible. The scripting language used by Bitcoin, 
Litecoin, Nexa, and other UX, UTXO cryptocurrencies is designed to be limited in order to make it deterministic. An analogy is the software of a vending machine where all parts in the processing are predetermined. Satoshi Nakamoto prioritized security and simplicity over functionality and flexibility. Scripts resolved to true or false. This was a wise decision, as non-Turing completeness is perfect for cryptocurrencies. The Bitcoin Unlimited development team have taken the UTXO opcode scripting language to the very edge of what's possible for smart contract functionality. Nexus scripting is arguably Turing complete. However, it, transactions will still verify before execution, which has the effect of non-Turing completeness for blockchain processing purposes. Nexa has a user-friendly high-level language, NetScript, which makes it much easier to write and test complex types of transactions. This graphic illustrates how the UTXO set represents the global state of the ledger, everyone's funds, while the blockchain just proves that the UTXO set is correct. A user may have one or more wallets with many UTXOs comprising the balance of funds. It is testament to Satoshi Nakamoto's genius that he avoided the obvious account-based model from the outset. He created an incredibly simple, efficient, and scalable design which is most likely to prevail long term, which is why Nexa holds to this model as well. When we're considering an account-based model, the choice of a Turing-complete language such as Solidity for the virtual machine has a profound effect upon scalability. On the left it illustrated a non-Turing-complete scenario such as the opt-code scripting language seen in Bitcoin and Nexa. The effect of any transaction on the global ledger is known at the time of verification. This enables massive parallel processing where thousands of transactions can be handled at once with multi-threading. In contrast, the outcome of a Turing complete language cannot be predicted before processing due to arbitrary memory looping and branching requirements, and this creates a bottleneck forcing sequential processing of transactions with restricted parallel processing. Tokens have a fundamental importance in the 21st century economy. Consider the USDT token on Ethereum, Tron, and several other chains. There is a huge convenience in this asset which tracks the US dollar and is increasingly used in commerce around the world. It does not need its own blockchain. Most of the exchange-traded cryptos are tokens on one of the major chains, except for Bitcoin and Litecoin, where this functionality is very limited. Nexa has the most advanced token support of any UTXO blockchain, arguably any account-based blockchain. In Nexa, they are native, integrated into the base layer. Tokens are minor-validated and have all the advantages of the main Nex unit. Nexa supports non-fungible tokens, which have a commitment hash of user content held in the UTXO set. Nifty Art and Nebula are two websites where users can upload, view, and trade NFTs. Private NFTs are supported, while further enhancements such as Atomic Secret Exchange are in development. Bitcoin and Ethereum both have a lost decade for different reasons. They have put huge amounts of time and resources into layer two solutions, which are frankly just not needed. In May 2025, Vitalik Buterin talks about simplicity. He says, Ethereum can become close to as simple as Bitcoin. Simplicity is beautiful and desirable in any design, but unfortunately, mainly because Solidity is Turing complete, it has pushed Ethereum development down the road of layer two and in ever-increasing complexity. 
In the case of Bitcoin, it has remained too simple. Its lost decade comes from ideological reasons, tying itself into knots to avoid hard fork upgrades and rejecting support for layer one scalability tokens and decentralized finance. The promise of cryptocurrency is to combine the scarcity of gold with the electronic flexibility of fiat money. However, the number of fiat transactions performed globally is enormous. An estimated 5 billion per day currently, or 60,000 a second. This is the lower bound for future requirements as fiat transactions are simple transfers of value. The 21st century economy will demand much more complexity and this is being provided already by second generation cryptocurrency with tokens, smart contracts and decentralized finance. High volume testing on Nexa development network shows a ramp up from 1,000 transactions a second to 20,000, 40,000 and finally 60,000. This high volume processing has over 9,000 threads utilizing 34% CPU on a 16 core server. The test network used has nodes in Italy and Canada and uses ordinary retail ISP connectivity. One improvement from Bitcoin is the use of pruning to manage blockchain growth on home nodes. In 2026, the Nexa network will implement minor commitments of a hash of the UTXO set, which further decreases the necessity for the retention of full blockchain history. Nexa is blazing a trail in hardware acceleration for its full node network. Blitz is an FPGA card which verifies Schnorr signatures, the most intensive part of transaction processing by full nodes, at a fraction of the energy cost. The Blitz prototype can perform 30,000 elliptic curve signature verifications per second. So Nexa has built this prototype working on FPGA hardware for full nodes with an integrated CPU the size of a cigarette packet. CAPD provides a transient decentralized anonymous messaging service that allows users to find other people interested in specific transactions or protocols such as trading tokens or executing smart contracts. Users can coordinate and complete transactions or agreements in a peer-to-peer -peer environment. Privacy is maintained by avoiding centralized servers which track users. CAPD uses proof of work to discourage spam on the messaging system. Many people are familiar with the willing to buy and willing to sell messages in social media. Those are human actionable. However, in the case of CAPD and Nexa, they can be a partial transaction, and a second person anywhere can later complete the transaction and publish it to the full node network. Deal done. Immutable blockchain trade results. Now, we're looking at the quantum computing risk, there are four principal types of exposed public keys and cryptocurrencies which can be attacked by a sufficiently advanced quantum computer. The first two are in particular to Bitcoin. Mining rewards during the Satoshi era, era since, and since 2021, the taproot public keys. Other public keys in Bitcoin and also other cryptocurrencies, the public key's address is in a hashed form which protects it from quantum computing attack. However, once a crypto amount is sent from an address, the public key becomes exposed. This creates a long-term risk where the address is reused and has a non-zero balance. Also, there's a short window of risk for transactions which sit in the mempool from quantum computing attack prior to be mined into blocks. So, how soon, how far away is the quantum computing threat to elliptic curve cryptography? 
It's a Global Risk Institute survey of academic and industry sources in the QC field will show 20, 20 40, to 40 to 45 as, as the greatest risk. MITRE is most conservative, suggesting 2055 to 2060. But the, the wide aggregate gives a feasibility assessment of 2035 to 2040 when the current cryptography is most likely compromised. So AI design, MEM computing, and interconnectors are all powerful technologies which create further uncertainty in the future. So what's Nexa doing about QC risk mitigation? For any serious cryptocurrency, or even a 5% risk to the signature scheme within a decade is an alarm call requiring action. Because of the decentralized nature of crypto, there is a long lead time required for development consensus on mitigation, upgrade, and user cooperation in transferring assets. With this in mind, Nexa Development has an active project to fully support post-quantum cryptography in wallets and hardware acceleration, giving users adequate time to move their assets to safe addresses. So Bitcoin Unlimited has a long runway and a strong team for Nexa Development and support. We're determined to give Nexa every chance in the global competition for crypto usage and adoption in the years ahead. Thank you all. Thank <laughs> you.